My name is Grace Klein and I'm a student reporter for the Liam Charney Resolution Center. Today I'm here with Nick Cole. He is a professor of communications at the University of Southern California. I am a writer and researcher about new ways of approaching international relations. Uh, particularly, um, I emphasize the importance of dialogue, listening, and connecting governments to people and people to people rather than just governments to governments. And I feel that international relations has gone wrong by overemphasizing uh, things that happen in private and cutting the concerns of the people out of international politics. Mm -hmm. So you talk a little bit about listening. Um, what is the importance of listening and how can we as a nation and as citizens become better listeners? I think that um, when our politics was forming, uh, you know, really over the last 2,000 years, we've put immense attention on freedom of speech, but we've kind of forgotten about an obligation to listen. And it's led to a rather one-sided politics where people are asserting, uh, <laughs> but without considering. And so um, I think the minimal uh, thing we need to do is to consider the other person's point of view. If we hope our point of view will be considered by others, we have to give them the same uh, respect and inform ourselves ab about um, uh, you know, the, the ideas and approaches of others. We can't assume that we're right. Mm -hmm. uh, and what worries me is that sometimes when the United States has approached international dialogue, it does so from the position, the answer is America now, what's the question? And to be honest, the answer isn't America for every single question in the world. There are a number of different answers and many other people uh, around the world uh, have their own ideas and their own countries and feel that they have um, something to contribute to a collective discussion and it's rather foolish to uh, shut off uh, those conversations before they've even begun. So what is one piece of advice that you would give a student um, who is pursuing a field in international relations? Well, I think it's important that um, new diplomacy, public diplomacy, these things would begin with listening. And so almost always we should be prepared in the first instance to listen. And that's not always a comfortable process. And I, I think that the, the follow-on question from that is, but how do I listen? And it's important to listen without necessarily having a category of answer in mind. Uh, and to listen in such a way that you're all the while giving feedback to the person you're talking to. So the act of listening becomes a kind of a co-creation of meaning. So by this what I mean is that you go out and you begin talking to people. And you say, is what you're saying that X? And they'll say, not quite, it's more why, and then you'll start to together build a, a process, uh, build a, a, a shared understanding. And I think the more we're doing that, and particularly if you can connect to other people like yourself, find yourself or people like yourself in other communities, then we'll start to see how much we have in, in common with each other. And, and in time, that will build um, the, the kind of trust that's essential because you know, I'm very struck looking out at the world how the problems we have transcend international boundaries. Kofi Annan, the Secretary General of the UN, used to say, uh, problems don't need passports, mm -hmm. right? My argument would be, well, if the problems don't need passports, the solutions don't need passports either and have to be collective, not just between collective solutions that are bringing together nation states, but people partnering with non-governmental organizations, with cities, with regions, or uh, with companies, all the different kinds of actors that go to make up the world need to work together. And, and it, once students tune into this, once they, they begin by listening and studying the world in a really open-minded way, if people were doing that, we'd be uh, further along mm -hmm. a road to finding some solutions. Awesome. Well, I just want to thank you so much for coming here today. Oh, it's a pleasure to it be here, really Grace. Nice thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very soon. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.